I'll go. Don't be ridiculous. You'll never make it. Why not? Because they will see you coming and kill you. No, they won't. They won't see me. It's out of the question. I won't allow it. I'm not asking you to allow it, Gandalf. What's up YouTube, Dmux here today and I'm here to do a quick review on The Hobbit Battle of the Five Armies, the final film within the Hobbits trilogy, to the, well the prequel trilogy to the Lord of the Rings, and I gotta say, it was, it was, it was, it was a big finale, that's what I can say to it, you know, that's, that's, that's the way to sum up this one, it was a big finale, definitely CGI heavy, it felt like some time, it felt like moments where it felt like I was watching a cutscenes for a video game or something, because so much CGI with the orcs. And you know the elves, even even the dwarves. Sometimes CGI. It's kind of weird looking at some of the dwarves, especially one of the uh, Thorin's cousin. I think whatever his name was, he was CGI heavy. On I swear, it kind of was kind of distracting to me at some points. So, but I mean, it's not really something to complain about when you're doing a big epic battle like this in the Hobbit film. Of course, you're gonna use a lot of heavy CGI. I mean, a lot of you know dramatic moments from left to right. You know, because it is the end, the, at the end of the journey. So it's one last time, that type of situation. And you know, in the beginning of the film, and it's not really a spoiler, I mean, I think everyone knows, Smog dies. Oh, spoiler alert, there you go. Um, Yeah, Smog dies. But I feel like that part in the beginning of this, of this film should have been the end of the Destination of Smog. I know a lot of people, I know they probably wanted to leave in that epic cliffhanger at the end with Smog, you know, saying what he was going to do to the town, saying he's fire, I'm fire, I am death, that type of thing. But I really, it just, it's... It, it, I don't know, it kind of takes you out at the moment, it doesn't feel as strong when you when Smog is dead, just with, oh yeah, you killed a dragon, that type of thing, that's just how I feel, you know, like I said, it just felt like a big third act, it really didn't feel like it had a middle, beginning, middle, end, it was just, everything was climactic, now that's not a bad thing, I'm just saying, you know, it's just one of those things, it's not really, it doesn't really feel like, it just feels like the end of a film, like it feels like the end of the movie, in, in which it is, but you guys know what I mean, it didn't feel like it it stand out on its own as a film, like The Return of the King or The Twin Towers, you know, that type of thing. So, and also, what else? Oh, and there's this one annoying character named Alfred. Oh, my gosh. He was like the... I mean, he was so annoying. He had so much screen time, too. I'm like, what? Why is this guy... Why is this character got so much screen time in this movie? He's so annoying. I mean, I don't like him. Get him out of the way. He He's he's terrible for the com comedic relief. I mean, I'm... Pr it was it was ridiculous that part it was quite ridiculous in my opinion. Overall, I think the film was great. You know, it was pretty good. I liked the film. You know, I I don't know. I think the Destiny of Smog was the better out of all the three films, and then I would probably rank it Battle of Five Armies, then the Unexpected Journey. Then again, I kind of I know, I didn't mind the Unexpected Journey, even though it took a while to set up, but had some moments. Each film has moments here and there. You know, you get. To, yeah, it got some predictable deaths in there. Of course, if you read the books, you know who dies, who doesn't, that type of thing. But, you know, overall, the trilogy was a good prequel trilogy to Lord of the Rings. You know, it set up the Lord of the Rings quite well. I, will we return to Middle-earth in the future? I mean, I hope so. Why not? You know, maybe create some original stories or try, try to make the Cimmerillion film, which I hear is impossible to do, but you never know. Anything's possible if you put your mind to it. But, I'm like I said, if you go check out The Hobbit the Battle of Armies, I recommend it. You know, watching it, of course. Of course, you gotta see the first two to understand maybe the third film. I like I say that overall, I feel like it's just one big final act. I mean, I feel like they could have cut down some certain things and cut out certain characters. It really didn't fit in well, but uh, the, the the final battle it was pretty epic. You know, like I said, CGI. I feel like I was watching a video game at some moments, but overall, it's a, I th I like the film. It's pretty good. You know, I'm glad the way they wrapped it up. It was quite nice. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, more content to me on The Hobbit, other films in general. I'm Dima Lex. I'll see you in the future.